All right, so correct me if I'm wrong, but promposals aren't supposed to be scary, right? Now, I'm not saying that scary ones don't happen. Like, imagine being in your parents' house and going to the bathroom to take a poop, and in the bathtub is the world's first brown KKK member. Like, will you be the chicken to my nugget at prom? Dude, I would never go with you to a second location. Fortunately, and in some very wild turn of events, unfortunately, this is not what I'm talking about. I mean, scary in a sense that my proposal would have some other people propose that I be put in prison for crime. Notice how now the KKK chicken nugget has now become a far more valid option. Well, I was put in that position, looking at my phone, scared for my life. Uh, all thanks to my dear old mom. So you're really gonna blame your mom for this one? It literally was her fault, yes. Yes, I am. She's not even here to defend herself. Even if she was, trust me, I don't think she could. Okay, let's find out. Are you are you calling my mom? Duh. Vivi, how did you even get her number? Shush, what? she's about to answer. Vivi, no, wait, how, how did my, you're such a, hey, mom. Hey, what's going on? I uh, guess I'm in the middle of a video right now. I'm telling the prom story, and I, I guess I wanted to know if uh, you'd like to uh, say your part while I, I told it, I guess. You want to do it right now? We can, if you want. <laughs> Okay, let me, let me get to a safe place. Okay. <laughs> no interruptions. Okay, okay. So after a choice incident that really hurt me, I decided I wasn't gonna go to prom this year. I felt like I really had messed things up and this is probably a sign that prom just wasn't for me. But someone in my life wasn't having it. My mom. No, I don't know what it is with parents and being in your business, but my mom was no exception. And she came up to me with the biggest puppy dog eyes ever, begging with me, pleading with me that if I didn't go, it was basically going to kill her. Well, you have to, you have to take in consideration. Oh my God. My point of view, my son is not going to prom. So I was like, you know, why, how come you don't want to go to prom? Oh. Now have you mind, when I was in high school, I didn't go to prom either. I didn't have oh, you didn't? I didn't know. I didn't go to prom, no, I didn't go to prom. So, I, and I originally thought maybe you were scared to ask someone. You didn't want to ask because you were just scared to do it. Yeah, that was definitely but, one of the reasons. That was one of the reasons. I There was a big reason I decided not to go, and it's actually because I had a... Uh, well, everyone watching, you guys know, this video is actually a remake of another video as a sequel to another. Yeah, basically I had told a girl some very, what a lot of people may now consider sexist things to her, which had upset her and she stopped messing with me. And I had felt because of that, I probably shouldn't be going. Okay, well, I just assumed, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, anyways, at the end of the day though, it's my life, right? If I don't wanna go, I don't wanna go. But I did feel for my mom, all right? It was an experience for her too, you know, being a parent during this time. And I had already missed some kid and parent seeing off kid events during high school. Like not walking the football field during my last football game because I didn't attend because I quit the team. But that's a whole other story though. Uh, yes, it is. Yeah, but again, I, I, got, I got where she was coming from. Not to mention my mom's been like one of my biggest supporters since day one. She's always been there for me. She even helped encourage this whole YouTube thing. Like imagine continuing to support someone after seeing this. But whether I wanted to go or not, it didn't matter. I didn't have a date. But apparently that wouldn't matter because my mom said she had this and that she was gonna get me one. Get it was, Ma, hey, you, you I say you were going to look into it. I was getting ready to pay somebody. Mom, you're not, you. you're not doing, not like that. I never, I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe a few days after our conversation, my mom walks through the front door with this giant smile on her face. Like she just won the lottery. So naturally I'm like, yo, mom, uh, why are you cheesing so hard? What's up? She says something that makes me feel a type of way. Okay, so I talked to my coworker and her granddaughter wasn't going to prom either this year, but was willing to go with you. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh snap, another person down bad enough to just not go to prom? Uh, that's the kind of person for me. So naturally I asked the proper next question. What she look like though? Like, all right, like, y'all, I'm not the kind of guy to judge off of looks or anything, but I just, I just wanted to know, okay? And obviously 
I knew it was for the best. You know what I mean? My mom hands me her phone. And damn, she looks an awful lot like the Google Maps app. I give her a really confused look. And she looks me dead in the eyes and says, well, I'm not sure what she looks like. But you're going to find out when you meet her in person. We want you to go on a blind date. What are you doing? Oh, I was checking to see if I had a probing cane in my hand on accident and you thought I was blind like I wouldn't want to use my eyes in this situation. No. I remember that. No, I remember that. Because I was like, Mom, I was like, I Mom, I have that. two eyes. I have two eyes. Oh no. <laughs> I remember. I was like, yo, mom, I have two eyes. Bob, you try to be cute. No, you try to be cute. Uh 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 uh. <laughs> but I thought a blind date would be fun. It's like a little surprise. 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 I don't want to be surprised on a date. I don't want to go out there and then uh surprise I'm out with Big Ed. You know what I mean? Curtis, it's not about looks. You don't have to date her. Just someone you could take to the prom. She could have a nice personality. What if she acts like Big Ed? That's even worse. Now, was I being a bit mean? Yes. I, I I'm sure Big Ed is a very nice misogynist but young me was a bit more superficial than most and to be fair given the title of the video i think i made the right call but eventually my mom caves and she pulls up a picture of the girl on her phone and i give it a good look 25 what 25 that's how much i charge to babysit where did Jay Richard for that joke? She is a child, like a whole child. Oh, okay. Mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The picture looked like if she was going to ask me if, like, I had any games on my phone she could play. Oh, <laughs> no! Oh, my gosh. Mom, what was her reason for not going to prom? I'm not sure, actually. Well, I'm positive is because middle schoolers aren't allowed to go to high school prom, mother. This girl is 12. She was not in middle school. <laughs> That's madness. <laughs> she was a, she had to be a fresh. She had to be a freshman, though. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> she had to be a freshman. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Mom, freshmen's don't get invites to prom either, meaning she's 14, literally still a crime. I'm 18 years old. Now, as goofy as the conversation was, from here, it started to get a little serious. Kurt, I'm not asking you to be in a committed relationship with the girl. Ma, I don't even think she can spell committed. Curtis, give her a chance. It doesn't even have to work out. Just give it a chance, you might get along. Dude, what are we gonna talk about? How she has an essay on holes due Thursday? It looks weird. There's implications to this whole prom thing. <laughs> Implications may be. Yeah. I raised you a certain way, so I wasn't thinking like that. Okay. So, all right. More of a reason. Okay. If, if we're going by your info. Uh huh. More of a reason for the girl to say, "How come you don't have your own date?" Damn. Card? Okay. <laughs> Mom, you get a little ahead of the story. Hold on. Curtis, you're overreacting. Could you just do this for me? Mom, it's my life. Okay. I don't care what you want. Uh. Yeah. I felt like that kind of stung a bit harder than it should have no, it, well it, i just didn't understand it didn't upset me mm -hmm. i just didn't understand i felt bad okay but damn why i gotta be a predator to make you happy why can't i just get good grades like everyone else's kids i don't know i just kind of sat there thinking to myself at the kitchen table i don't know what happened but i went from annoyed to angry the longer i sat there thinking what does she think i need help to get a date I, like i know i screwed things up before but that doesn't mean i can't get someone especially not this but i mean Bringing it back up, uh, and you know, there's so many years that gone by. I, I guess I can see your point of view. You felt mm -hmm. like it was silly. Yeah, and I, no need. yeah, yeah. But I don't know. There's something about winning an argument with yourself that makes you reflect on things. Kind of just saw the position I thought. I don't know what triggered it for me, but then I just thought, you know, it's mom. I love her. She's done so much for me. At the very least, I could try and get to know this girl. I mean, to be honest, it's not even like I didn't want to go to prom. I did. I don't know. I just kind of self-exiled myself from it, like a punishment for messing up. When in truth, I could have still went and had a good time. Maybe it's because I was embarrassed because of what happened before. So I guess for this scenario, maybe I should go to prom. The least I could do is try. I had my mom a little bit later and said I was sorry for going off on her. She said, thank you, sweetie. At least try. And if you don't like her, it's not a big deal. But thank you for trying. So my mom gave me your contact info and I sent her a text. 
I'm just have to be sure to make this known that it's just platonic. Like maybe people think I'm babysitter or something. I don't know. Maybe she'll be a chill 14 year old. Who knows? Hey, this is Kurt, your grandma's coworker's son. So why couldn't you get a prom date? What's your problem? <laughs> so yeah, I didn't go to prom that year. Look, you can't be mean and a child. I was already doing this for my mom. Like how low do I gotta be at that point? But thankfully after seeing that message, my mom was thankful that I at least tried and I was too. It might have been rude, but now that you're older, that's a legit question. All right, thanks, I mean, mom. It's a legit question. I mean, it's a legit question. I was look back on that and think, man, we both probably didn't handle that situation well. Like, yeah, I probably didn't have to go off like that, and she probably could have maybe vetted the whole age thing first. But in the end, we were still cool, and we saw where each other were coming from. I respect her choices, and she respected mine. And I really appreciated that. Yeah. So that's that's all I have. Um, well, 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 at least you you know you you don't seem embarrassed by it. I think now that it's over and done with, and it's been like years. No. I think I'm probably the one more uh, a little embarrassed for trying uh, to do that. So. <laughs> Mom, I, you always have good intentions. Uh, I think. It, I mean, you know. Don't necessarily mean to write. Yeah, I mean, but so. the, yeah, I always think it's the thought that matters, and I and I appreciate you taking those steps uh, for me. <laughs> oh, I was short sized as everybody. Be. You're you're a good person, mom, and I appreciate you. <laughs> now, school sucked for me for a lot more reasons than uh, that situation. It was because they'd always teach us stuff we didn't really need. If only there was a place I could learn about things I actually want to learn about, my passions, and master my craft can't tell already this is a segue for this video sponsored by skillshare now if y'all didn't already know i don't know why you wouldn't we talk about skillshare a lot here we love them is an online learning community that gives you membership with meaning and access to a myriad of classes that give you the ability to learn just about anything with just a few clicks like if you ever have wanted to really dive into your passion and improve your craft well my good friends over at skillshare have got you from art to editing to videography they've got it all personally as i work with my manga artist to work on these videos that you're watching now i'm trying to get a better idea of storyboarding them so they can have an easier time drawing so i've been checking out the very aptly named learn to storyboard the first steps of visual storyboarding by leo matsu and if you want skillshare for the insanely cheap price of free click the link in the description but you better be fast because only the first 1,000 people who click my link in the description will get the chance. I like, right, really like they're clicking it now while I'm still talking. Y'all might want to hop down. So there. if you want to learn a lot and save a lot, click my link in the description and get to learning with tens of thousands of others and myself with Skillshare. Thank you, Skillshare, for sponsoring this video. Oh, what's up, y'all? Yo, please do not mind the ridiculously high uh, camera quality. This will never happen again. The sign looked great, right? Yo, much love for checking out that video. Yo, I, I told y'all I, I had more stories. I, I promised I did, and I, I have them. I don't really have that much to plug this time around, other than, yo, if you enjoyed this video, check out the Why I Dated a Racist video, which has caused a lot of contention uh, with people who might be racist. I don't, I don't know. I, I stand strong with my opinion, and eventually I will come up with another video that is similar to this, but not the preferences. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, also, uh, if you if you like the content, uh, please feel free to support me on Patreon. I love those guys over there. I really appreciate them. Fawn, who was a hundred dollar patron, uh, uh, actually voiced uh, our Nezuko child, uh, and that is a, a reward for that tier. So other than that, that's all I got, yo. It's been fun. I got more stuff on the way, so feel free to check that out. All right, y'all, I'm out. Peace. <laughs>